see some uh, really fast and uh, amazing on the water rugby we will see uh, Bamberg again we will see the Orcas again we'll see Riksu, Langenakaren and Flipper all the teams we've seen so far uh, uh, show us a very good on the water rugby so here we are starting uh, the game uh, Bolisen from Sweden in uh, blue against Triton Berun in white from the Czech Republic and Triton is in uh, ball possession. No, Hunis uh, and managed to get the ball. No, uh, oh, Triton, Triton is in ball possession. No, uh, no, <laughs> Triton. It was a back and forth in the middle of the pool after the the first swim. Now you can see Triton is trying to to score, but the ball got snapped. Wow, by very fast uh, oh. ball playing from Bolis and they come in with force on the Triton Baroon the basket and intercepted by Triton. And the ball is in Triton possession and we have a counter attack on the surface from Cheaton is coming um, uh, penalty style like down on the goalkeeper and we have a chaotic situation here at the basket uh, Triton is putting high pressure from the close side on the basket and uh, pulling out again they are using that edge in to their advantage to keep the ball and yeah they are in there they are staying in the corner now going in the corner getting ready teammates uh, take a breath and then go in here we go first one goes in he throws oh. the ball uh, to his teammate but it was a he was a little bit too far from the basket to be really dangerous for an attack and is tackled away by two police and players but if he had met that that pass it was quite good yeah. yeah the idea was quite good behind this uh, pass but it was a little bit too far away Do we have actually people from Sweden or Czech Republic watching at the moment? Well, ask them in their home language, maybe they answer <laughs> you. <laughs> um, yeah, is there anybody watching from uh, Sweden or anybody from uh, the Czech Republic? Please let us know in the, uh, the live stream comments. I'm always curious to get information. Police is in ball possession uh, and building their attack pattern around the Triton Baroon basket. But the forechecking of uh, Triton is quite good. They uh, keep the police and ball carriers always occupied. This is the first chance. Uh, they are coming from both sides of the basket, police and players. Now from the open side, he's working on the head of the goalkeeper, but he didn't succeed. The defense and uh, the offense players are always in place uh, to prevent any uh, rising pressure and this is a Baroon player uh, doing a basketball style uh, uh, play to get to the ball and he succeeds Baroon is in the middle of the pool in ball possession and going for the basket now we have uh, one Baroon player going in that's quite good oh he didn't see Ooh. he was already under the goalkeeper and that was it would have been a chance mm -hmm. but he uh, smashed his head into the tiles of the bottom of the pool uh, Poor guy. <laughs> He's from the Czech Republic. Yeah. He doesn't care. Ha! I think this is really impressive because Polizen is a, a team that plays Euroleague and they are really, really experienced. And yeah. Triton Baron is like kind of the new guy. Yeah, but the, 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 the players from Triton are experienced players, yeah. but they don't probably don't have this uh, much international experience. But it looks they look totally unimpressed. Oh, look, we have one in Sweden and one in, in Czech Republic. Sweden in the house! <laughs> Niklas and Jan from the Czech Republic. Hi, thanks for watching. Okay, police and again under pressure. Um, until now, now uh, police and is breaking free. Until this moment, I'd say these uh, two teams equal uh, are in equal in strength and strategy. They go in uh, with a lot of force and uh, face a uh, good uh, defense on both sides. Ah, Triton is even fighting uh, with his own players. Wow, that was really fast, that counter-attack. Yeah, very good counter-attack of the player. He's coming from above again, trying to get uh, down to the goalkeeper. And another player coming, already waiting down, receiving the ball pass. And another player waiting down, receiving the next ball. So this is the style you put pressure 
on the defense again and again. Oh, and this is it. Very well done. It. That was really, really good. They passed the, the ball to the player who had the best position. He was on the, he was not on the open side, but he was like in the middle. Yeah, and the thing is, when you attack yourself and you are under pressure by the defense, you still have to have an eye to your colleagues where are they positioned, so you don't have to do it yourself, but you pass on. And this was perfectly executed from the guy fighting in the defense, passing to his colleagues, waiting where the gap was, and for him it was easy to score. Very well done, Triton Baroon. And now it's up to police and uh, from Sweden to even the score. And I think Polizan is absolutely capable of uh, doing this here. And yeah. they're waiting already under the basket of Triton Baru. Yeah, they have a really good block there. Yeah, that's, that's a good situation. But uh, the Triton player saw what was coming and snatched the ball away from him. Triton Baru in the middle of the pool already in ball possession. And they are building again clusters and fighting for the ball, but Polizen got the ball at the moment and they are trying to break free from this whole fight in the middle. We have uh, 3 minutes 50 is left in this first half of the game. Uh, Polizen from Sweden in blue yes. against <coughs> Triton Maroon in white. And Polizen uh, really has to... Uh, uh, initiate their afterburners uh, to go into the defense of Triton Baroon and cause mayhem there because the Triton guys uh, are they are quite self-confident here in their defense and time is working for them. Oh, the goal is not uh, shown in the mm -hmm. display. I will tell uh, my guys uh, in the office. Okay, go ahead. So we can see here Polizen is struggling to go past the defense from Triton. They're having really a hard time to get to the basket. They have a really good position, but they can just make the passes to the players on the basket. So now they have a pretty good chance. He's attacking from the open side but he got pulled away by the defense. Polison is blue and Triton is white, Kojan. And no, Sweden is blue. So as we can see here, Polison is trying to break the defense. They have a pretty good block there, but he can still make the pass to try and score. Now he is going, he's trying to go penalty style, but it also get blocked. And now Triton is uh, trying to counter attack. He's struggling in the middle, but then, oh, that was a really nice chance. So now Triton is going for the kill. They are trying to, to go to the basket and broaden the score so that they don't have to, to worry about it anymore. So now Polizen has a pretty good chance, but he kind of lost the ball there. So we have free here blue. free throw against blue yeah. against police and uh, from I Sweden. I didn't know quite uh, the the reason why. Well, I uh, just came in, so I didn't see it, but yeah. uh, probably rough playing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> holding without ball. Holding, oh, holding without ball. ball. Thank you for the thank you for the information. It's like they can read our minds. <laughs> They don't hear what we are talking here, but they always give the right answers. <laughs> okay, uh, Polizen is attacking here. 
Uh, no, we had no one ever drowned in our sport uh, in underwater rugby to coach on. Uh, why should we? We have <laughs> air uh, as much as we want. No, never happened. Uh, uh, I think the only death I know uh, in, uh, in my uh, 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 surrounding was a heart attack, but it didn't drown. So, end of the first half. Uh, but uh, the question about if uh, any player ever drowned in underwater rugby, <laughs> no. Uh, because you would see it and uh, what we learned uh, in, the, um, in talking to uh, rescue divers um, and I myself a rescue diver and um, I, uh, um, I learned it, uh, it takes two minutes to drown and if any player would stay two minutes uh, down uh, in a pool, it would be, it. you would see it and you wouldn't move because why, you wouldn't... Uh, uh, no, never happened. Well but like I said, uh, we had heart attacks, but the reason for the death was a heart attack and not drowning. Well, I mean, for someone to, dr to drown on a pool, the older players would know that... Yeah, you, you, you realize, you see it. So don't worry, you can start playing underwater <laughs> rugby, uh, Kojan, and uh, you don't have to worry about drowning. So, hmm. Um, Triton uh, is uh, leading this game. And uh, still there is a good chance for uh, uh, police and to uh, catch up with them. It's not that safe uh, yet. I would think police could even the score and then they would go to penalties. That would be interesting. That would be really interesting to see these two teams competing with penalties. Um, Uh, that's uh, the question. Technically, you can drown after you surfaced. Well, that's the uh, 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 pool, uh, swimming pool blackout uh, you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, yes, sure, you could, but then again, you wouldn't move. And still, we are uh, at uh, a sport with uh, when you stop moving, you should uh, leave the playing area. So, if anybody would uh, lie around for uh, more than seconds. half a minute, uh, 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 not moving, even on the surface, uh, his team players would realize. So yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. This is a team sport, and you know actually how long can a team player underwater, how how yeah. long he can yeah yeah withstand that. So uh, uh, Silver is in the uh, live chat here, and he says that this is the most awesome sport ever. <laughs> Thank you. Good, I found this. Where are you from, Silver? We can uh, show you, tell you where you can start playing. We can give you the contacts here. We have contacts all over the world, wherever you are. It doesn't matter. China, Australia, Colombia, Singapore. Singapore. Uh, we can uh, put you in contact with the world and you can start playing wherever you are. Ah. Turkey too. Norway, Finland. <laughs> Germany, Denmark. Denmark, Czech Republic, Poland, Serbia, France, France, United Kingdom. Yeah, that's that's absolutely no problem. Are there Sweden. Any in Portugal? Well, Sweden is a perfect place to start. Okay, back in the game. Uh, the second half, ten minutes left uh, with police and against Triton Berun, and Triton Berun is leading the, this um, this match with a one zero lead. Okay, Polisen, let's show what you got. So Polisen is going for the score. They are positioning all the, player, the players so that they can just pass and score. So we have two Swedish novi no newbies here in the, in the live chat. Please get in contact with the uh, Swedish uh, uh, players here in the live chat and oh start playing. Look, we've had someone from Singapore. <laughs> Welcome, Singapore. Again, Polisen is going now in with three people, uh, but the pass uh, missed uh, its its uh, designated player. And Triton Berun is going for a counter attack. And I like uh, the style of both teams. They they. Uh, they're really fast. Yeah, they are fast, but the on the same time, it's a controlled speed. It's yeah. not like this uh, beginner speed where you are like, yeah, and I go wherever <laughs> you are, and I don't know what they're doing. They do in every moment. They do in every moment know what they're doing. Now in the corner of the police and uh, basket, 
and uh, the Polisen player uh, ripped the ball from a Triton player but was instantly uh, uh, tackled by another player here and we're back in the corner and uh, so they're, 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 they're celebrating the a party there in the corner <laughs> and, and uh, Triton is uh, in ball possession and you see both teams doing little tricks with each other. It's uh, like uh, swimming past one player and uh, putting your hand on his mask to irritate him. Oh, we can actually, we can hear the the buzzer from the from the pool. Yeah, but uh, I don't have the the sound from the pool area yet. So there's a call from the referee: free throw against Polison. And uh, Polis in ball possession trying to break through the middle uh, offensive defense of uh, Triton Baroon. Now they've got a hold of both sides of the basket and they tried to score. But and they you see the impact, uh, the, 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 the goal, uh, the basket was moving a little bit. And again, the uh, police and players waiting on both sides of the basket. But the ball carrier is uh, tackled away to the surface. I like that move. They go back. Yeah, and tell us and what you like. <laughs> <laughs> they go back and think their attack better, and then they go in. So now we can see they are fighting on the corner again. Polison has got a hunt of the ball. He passes to the other player, but he misses the pass. And now they are starting to regroup and go and attack the basket but they miss the ball and then Triton Baroon can start with his counter attack and we can't see that at the moment so now so Polison has the ball again and he's attacking alone they need to go across the defense they try to pass the ball under the defense and oh they score it was a really really nice play from Polisen they passed the ball under the defense for the other player that was there and they scored like that I couldn't see it really clearly but it was really good. Very well done. Uh, I was uh, outside the box and the timeout, uh, I guess, for Triton. <coughs> um, like I said, uh, both teams are able to score. They were able to defend, able to score, and Polisen uh, managed uh, here to equalize. And uh, did you see how much time is left altogether? No, sadly no. Uh, maybe five minutes. I think so. Five Before. to six minutes. <coughs> Um, <laughs> we have a timeout. Coach Jan was uh, asking what is floating there in the water. This is an, quite an old pool <laughs> and there is the insulation uh, under the tiles with uh, heavy punches from the players against mm -hmm. walls and everything. It's getting loose and it's just... Uh, and there is tape floating from uh, taping the fingers, uh, whatever is floating. But there are filters, but with uh, the strain on the filters, uh, after three days of underwater rugby and having uh, at least 300 people in and out of the pool, uh, the filters have difficulties to keep up. But right now we have quite a good water quality, I think. Five minutes, 33 left here in the second half of the game. Triton Baroon from Czech Republic against Polisen from Sweden. Triton Baroon in the white and Polisen in uh, blue. And uh, it's a 1-1, one, one <coughs> and if both teams uh, finish uh, this match with a 1-1, one, one, we go in penalty shooting. Yeah, I told you, I thought, I think really that they are going to go to penalties. Yeah, that one will be interesting. Uh, I, uh, it's, I never want to wish any team uh, penalty shootings, mm. but in this case, I would love to see it, how these uh, two really capable teams deal with the situation then. So we okay, have we have a, a four check in against police and <coughs> but they lost the ball and now they are Triton lost the ball and now they are fighting in the middle of the swimming pool it's a really 
good to see these big players moving really agile here uh, in the pool. It's not like they are uh, using only their, their body strength <coughs> to play this game, but they are moving a lot. Really nice underwater rugby game with uh, uh, not much uh, clustering at all. Uh, the ball is moving a lot, a lot of uh, uh, passing, very fluently game, game, game style. <laughs> <coughs> and Triton is attacking now, four minutes left. So Triton lost the ball and then Polizen started their counter attack. They are going to be blocked in the middle, but they could make it to the basket from Triton Baroon. Oh, Polison scores again. So the player got on the open side of the basket and he moved away the... <laughs> so th th this was really a surprise, I think, for me. Uh, I wouldn't have thought one of the teams would be able to score uh, within these three minutes because yeah. both would um, just try to go <coughs> through the time without uh, risking uh, catching a ball. And uh, that was quite a feature after a 1-0 lead from uh, uh, Triton. It uh, was quite a feature from uh, Polisson to uh, equalize and go in uh, the lead with a 2-0 lead over Triton. So Triton has now three minutes left. <coughs> they were absolutely capable of uh, scoring this time, but Polison, uh, all Polison needs to win this game is uh, count to let the clock tick uh, down two minutes, 50 seconds. So if they uh, hold the ball and uh, try to keep the ball away from Triton, they will win this game. But Triton has another plan, and it's going to uh, they are going to execute it. I would actually like that the Triton makes another score, so that we can see both teams in penalties. So Polison is playing the safe way. They are thinking what their next move is going to be. And. They're actually just passing the ball and trying to desynchronize the defense from from three turn. So Polizen lost the ball and Triton wants to start a counter attack, but they got blocked by the Polizen players. They pass the ball to a, a free player and they start in struggle, struggling in the middle. So, wow, that was really good speed. This is the chance from Triton to make that score, but they sad sadly they lost the ball. And they got it again. <laughs> it is really at the moment like a ping pong game. One gets the ball, the other one gets the ball, and so on. So Triton is in position of the ball. They are going to attack the basket, but Polison stops them at the moment. They are fighting on the corner again. They go to the surface, and Polison is trying to push that cluster to the other side. And there is apparently... Okay, Polizen has the ball. They are trying to counter-attack. They are almost on Triton's Baroon side of the, of the swimming pool. Polizen is waiting for all the players to get in position. And Triton is trying to do all what they can to stop them. And I'm quite surprised, uh, I have to admit, uh, the uh, what uh, Polizen put you out, pulled you out of the head, uh, at least uh, two rabbits yeah. out of the head. Uh, it's a 2 0 lead, and they did win. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Miraculously. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Um, 
and uh, congratulations to Polisen from Sweden. They uh, did catch up in a game that uh, was really difficult.